Ira roi ngā tini mana ki tanga ata 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 ari ki matsa tama wai ro tapa mana ni ro pono kote mai ngai hei to to ko mai ai nei aki nei ai. Ah tini ro ata ko to katoa video. Eighty-three, fine. Eighty-three, it's a week, so it's seventeen days away from. Seventeen days away. Karero ai ho ma na re re te pono ka fa ko hoki ai ngā kore ro ki ngā harere ata 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 papa ata ho poti ki bere muratana. Ko te wahi e korero tia nei a i te parata e te pō nei ko nuku taurua ngā te kahumunu. Ai. So that's the korero that we're going to be looking into tonight, whānau. This actual particular korero that we're going to be touching on is actually the second visit of Rātana to this area of nuku taurua. And so this time when Rātana is called to come and visit this place, the people have called him uh, due to some of the makutu and tapu that's been placed in the area. And the negative energy, the evil energy that was placed on the area was one that was actually restricting them from their natural food sources. So they were restricted in kaimoana that they were able to uh, gather for themselves. Um, even food that they could uh, retrieve from the whenua. Um, due to the, the, the tapu that was uh, placed on this area, the people were suffering. And so, they knew about this, this Māori faith healer, um, this fella that had many gifts. And so, the people of that area uh, extended a welcome to Ratana to come and address the issue. <clears throat> and so, in October 1933, Ratana does that. He arrives to the area with 160 um uh, people within his uh, ropu and there was a couple of hundred several old hundred that were there to welcome him and to witness this um, uh, miracle take place and so in the discussions um, the local people of the area uh, explained to Ratana that I, there was this uh, whale that used to swim around in the area and on this whale that it, it was actually carrying the negative energy that was impacting their environment. And so, <clears throat> I, Ratana began to engage in whakamoimiti, and in his whakamoimiti, he's actually um, crying out to Iwa to restore life to the food on the land and the food in the sea. And he's also um, calling out to Ngā uh, Specifically, he calls out to Gabriel and Makaira to come down and assist in the situation. To lift up all um, evil and all tapu that was impacting the people. <clears throat> and so, in closing of his enoi, he went through a, a deep process of whakamoimiti. He then declared to the local people, Ai, ko oti tenei mahi, uh, you are free to go about your way. <clears throat> and so he pretty much declared to the people, Ai, this tapu that was placed on in the area has been lifted. So, Ai, mai a toko te mahi. And in that... Um, in the conclusion of the mahi that Ratana did, um, people started to witness um, that whale. It was quite an ancient whale that had been around in the local area, um, starting to um, swim off into the horizon. And so the komato of the area started to explain, I, that is the whale that was um, carrying this negative energy and it has started to um, make its way. And so all the local people were um, cheering um, and joy and happiness to witness this. Um, but Ratana, of course, um, seeing this, he told him, I, this is what Iho has done for you people, but may I ask you guys to keep this um, and, and, and celebrate in your heart. So even though this was such a, um, a huge positive situation and change of environment for the people, he reminded them that stay humble. And let Iho know how you feel inside your own heart. <clears throat> and so that's the corridor of Nuku Taurua. And in that, um, he built a strong following of people. Um, at that time, in the 1930s, Ratana was strengthening his political movement. And a lot of the people from Nuku Taurua, uh gave their support, gave their voice to Ratana's petition um, to rectify the tiriti. <clears throat> and so the interesting thing about this Ratana actually handed them um, the petition to sign 
And the people of Nuku Tauru said, Ah, uh, Kao, we don't sign anything. Kaupapa um, Pākehā tēnā. Um, and they said, when we raise our hands, know that when we do that, you are getting our tautoko. And so, um, <coughs> Ratana pretty much read out the petition. Um, they had Whakamoimiti over it, and the people raised their hand in support and in favour. In the sight of Ratana, in the sight of all people who were present, and of course, in sight of Ihua, who was also present at that time. So, um, Kapai. Nuku Taurua, 1933, Na, uh, Nati Kahungunu. This is one of many stories. Which we're really trying to just touch on bits and pieces of, of iwi within the, um, all areas of Aotearoa and just to share a piece of what Ratana did and how Ratana impacted uh, those areas. Um, so we've also, <clears throat> I'm really, really keen to start looking into some other areas. I know some of our whānau um, into Tairawhiti, Hold a lot of kōrero in terms of what Ratana did in Manutuke, um, uh, Tiki Tiki, um, and all the way along the coast, um, and even carrying on to Matakana Island, uh, Naitirangi, Natirangi Nui. There's a whole lot of kōrero there, <coughs> and from there, you know, Ratana also carried on up to um, uh, Taitokero, went around various areas of uh, Napuhi where he performed a lot of miracles there also. So I find out uh, those of you who are out there and want to engage on this kōrero and who are, who are confident in sharing this, um, obviously, you know, we can't force you guys, but this is really just a platform to koho tia te rongopai. So oh, I encourage people, um, come and join on this kōpapa because we want to share and educate all of our whānau out there um, so they know. That um, the iwi have a honga to this kaupapa of the maramatana. So, um, no reira, um, tātou tēnā. Hi, uh, no reira, mea tini mana ki tanga a tātata ariki kiruna ki a tātou katoa, a uh, matata tama waira o tāpe mana ana hira pono ko te maangai. Hei tau toko mai, ai nei, ake nei, ai. Ai. Pumari e whanau. Ah, uh, pops.